2020 just happened and it was so inspirational in a lot of different ways that we are super excited to embark on a couple of brand new journeys and we thought we would take you guys along with us. So during one of the CrabCon talks actually, um, two of my Ecuadorian hermit crabs were mating and so now we have um, one of our females carrying fertilized eggs. So today we are going to buy everything we need to raise babies. A little scared, <laughs> a little excited, all at the same time. And so, um, yeah, Mary Akers, we watched her talk again so we could get a list of supplies and an idea of what we're about to do. And um, so well, that's what we're doing, raising babies. dollar per gallon sale right now and we need to make a crystal. Crystal. So that our uh, Zoe can develop into purple crab babies. So yeah, that's where we're going and we got to get lots of other stuff too and we'll show you guys the haul. I don't know, can we take them in the store? If we can take you in the store, we will. But if they say no, then we'll tell you what we get afterwards. Yep, so here we go. Here we go. We're here. Let's go get the stuff. I don't know what to get. So many choices. All right, we're on our way to Home Depot. We have to pick up some silicone. We're at a red light, by the way. Yeah, we're at a red light. Silicone. I think that's all we need at Home Depot. Let's go. We got a little bit sidetracked at Home Depot. We got some things we didn't need for the babies, but we needed them for the other crabbies. So now last stop is Walmart. Here we go. A lighted magnifier. We have to have this.
two hours later. After our shopping trip to the pet store, we began to work on building the Chrysler, which would be the baby's home for the first few weeks of life. We took two big water jugs and measured the places we needed to cut out with a Dremel tool so that we could access the top of the Chrysler and so that the jugs would fit inside the 20 gallon tank we bought. Then we sanded the jug so that the plastic was smooth to the touch and no sharp edges were sticking out. We did the same thing to the other jug. And this is what it looked like when we were finished cutting and sanding. Next, we used 100% aquarium safe silicone to secure the jugs into place in the 20 gallon tank. We had to make sure to leave no holes whatsoever so that the water in the Chrysler wouldn't leak out with the babies. And you can see how thick we made the silicone for this reason. With the silicone dry, we then attached the bubblers, heater, and put water into the Chrysler. Salt water goes in both jugs and fresh water goes on the outside around the Chrysler in the 20 gallon tank. The purpose for this fresh water is kind of like a double broiler um, in that we would put a heater in that outside water to bring it up to the temperature we needed and it would then heat the salt water within the Chrysler to keep the babies warm without having to put an actual aquarium heater inside the Chrysler. The Zoe, Zoe are so small that um, they could get burned easily with the heater and so that's why we instead heat the outside water. The bubblers create the circular motion that mimics the ocean tide. Um, it keeps the Zoe moving as well as oxygenates the water. We use air control valves to adjust the flow of the air in the air stones. With the bubblers in place, we put on the thermometer and light and fill the Chrysler's up with water. And here's the Chrysler done and filled with water. We can't wait until we have babies in here. So the 10 gallon tank that you see behind the double Chrysler is where we hold extra salt water. It's kept at the same temperature and salinity as the salt water within the Chrysler. So that when we do our water changes, we replace that with this fresh water in the 10 gallon tank so that we don't shock the babies by adding water that isn't the right temperature or the right salinity. Hey guys, thanks for coming along on this journey with us. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, go do that right now so you can be notified when we drop new videos. And if you're not following us on social media, head over there now and follow us so that you can get um, all the updates that we send out, pictures, lives, and all that good stuff. You don't want to miss out on that. And we will see you guys next time. Take care.